Hey folks, it's Ben Greenfield and it's time for some healthy travel tips. I just got back from six days of camping in the California wilderness. I'm turning around tomorrow morning to head to Dubai. And with all this travel, I want to show you how I make sure that I'm sleeping well, taking care of my body, eating well, not getting sick when I'm traveling. And uh, I'm going to show you pretty much everything that goes into my bag. I've got it all laid out here. It's just me and the camera. Uh, so bear with me here with my uh, my novice photography skills and we'll get into things. So um, we're gonna start right off the bat with, I'm just gonna work left to right here. Okay, so first of all, when I travel I take gum with me. Um, I order this stuff off Amazon. Let me switch the camera filter here so we can get more detail. Uh, okay, so I order Spry off Amazon, totally natural gum, doesn't have artificial sweeteners. I put it in like a bag and just take that with me so the bag goes into my, my travel bag. I really don't check bags, I just carry a, I, I carry one bag, so I, I make sure that everything stays pretty pretty uh, concise, okay? Um, I always travel with goggles and a swim cap. Um, layovers, a lot of times you might check into an airport hotel, they always have a pool, good way to get a workout um, in many cases. So moving on from here. Next we've got, now we're getting into the good stuff, electrolytes. I travel with electrolyte pills um, or electrolyte capsules, effervescent electrolyte capsules. A lot of times I'll just order water on the plane and drop one of these into a glass of water. Very refreshing, great alternative to ginger ale, soda, that type of thing. So those are some noon uh, electrolyte capsules. Um, next, I travel and I use uh, this stuff now all the time. It's Nutra Rev, and the main things in here that I really like are the uh, the alpha lipoic acid, and it's also got acetyl L carnitine in it. And this stuff is really, really good for actually keeping your brain healthy when you're traveling. I tend to write a lot when I'm sitting in the airplane seat, and it just keeps keeps your your brain functioning really well. It's also got some good antioxidants in it. Um, so I use Nutrirev when I'm traveling and I just get these little sample packets. Okay, next up, um, action wipes. I use these uh, as a way to keep myself clean. It's basically a mix of tea tree oil and a bunch of other essential oils. Throw these into my bag and basically I'll use them to like wash my hands before I eat when I'm on the plane. Um, if I've got any, any cuts or scrapes, I'll be sure to, to wipe it out with these before, before covering it just so I reduce the risk of infection. Um, quintessential travel tool. I love these things. Okay, um, I work on my computer a lot when I'm on the plane, so I always have a Hera pad, which goes underneath the laptop. It absorbs some of the uh, electromagnetic field from the laptop. And then I also have my uh, electromagnetic field blocking glasses, the Gunnar glasses, and I wear those with my computer on top of the, uh, the Hera pad. And then, of course, my little MP3 player for when I'm waiting in line. Um, this this is actually a cool device. I haven't talked about this too much on the show, but I travel with this. I can put it under my mattress at a hotel room. Um, you can also put it on like behind you, underneath the pillow when you're on the plane. Um, it's an earth pulse. It generates uh, what's called pulsed electromagnetic frequencies. And basically what it does is it can amplify your delta brainwaves, which is the brainwaves that you use when you're in like deep mode recovery sleep. And so you can put this thing on and take like an hour long nap on the airplane and wake up and feel like you've slept eight hours. Very cool device. I'm just now experimenting with it. Um, look, look for more. I've got an interview with the guy who, who made it over at bengreenfieldfitness.com that I'll be releasing soon. But cool stuff. Starting to use it when I travel now. All right, let's move on. Um, speaking of sleep, I always travel with the eye mask and some earplugs. Um, this is just uh, uh, just basically an eye mask off Amazon. Um, Coca Chia snack mix. I'll take this and just mix it with some stuff, um, or just just eat it on the fly. You can even like drop airplane peanuts in in with this, and it tastes pretty good. Um, I'm not a huge fan of peanuts, but you know if you're hungry. So Coca Chia snack mix is basically uh, coconut and chia seeds, and then I also use I've been using Hammer bars quite a bit. This is the peanut butter chocolate like recovery bar from Hammer, so it's got protein in it, like grass fed whey protein digging that stuff, use it when I travel, and then I'm also, just in case I, I get stuck somewhere and need to throw down a quick workout, this is called Rocket Fuel, and basically it's like an almond butter based fuel, so it's not like the sweet sugary gels that you usually get. Here, let me switch the camera a little bit so we can see if I can get you a better, uh, better contrast here. That's a little bit better. Okay, so it's Rocket Fuel. Um, and basically it's like almond butter mixed with some stuff. It's, it's pretty cool stuff. Um, and I, I like it as like a fat-based fuel. 
Okay, next up, uh, I take Living Fuel Super Greens. This is the stuff I live and die by when I'm traveling for meal replacement. I put it in a bag and that goes with me everywhere. I make sure I grab a couple plastic spoons too. I can mix this with, with water from Starbucks or water fountain. I can mix it with water from the plane. I can drop the Coca Chia uh, snack mix into it. Um, just super versatile. You can even throw like almonds and stuff in there too. I'll even break up some dark chocolate bits that I'll buy at like uh, like the airport and put that in there. Um, this stuff is is magical when you're traveling. I love it. Um, okay, uh, for sleep, I use uh, Natural Calm Magnesium to sleep on the plane. I I really haven't been using sleeping pills at all um, for a long time. I had one overseas flight that I use them and that's pretty much it but I use natural calm and I use this stuff called somnidren um, put you right to sleep so both of these combination of them works works really well the only thing about this stuff is you gotta have it on an empty stomach so you can't be like snacking on the plane if you use it okay and then we flip to the opposite side like waking up um, tea and chi this is Chinese adaptogenic herbs really controls cortisol it'll help you with with like symptoms of jet lag it's just great for kind of making your body feel right when you travel and keeping you from getting too stressed out it's basically an adrenal tonic so it saves your adrenal glands if, if you tend to feel wiped when you travel this stuff really helps so um, tea and chi works really well all right, I'm almost done with, with the whole supplements thing before I look too much like a pill popper, but I do take pills when I travel, okay? Here is what you're looking at. Um, first of all, I don't get access to a lot of fermented foods when I travel, so I use probiotics, okay? That's a cat probiotic. That goes in there. I'll take three to six of those a day because I'm not eating the kimchi and the yogurt and all this other stuff that I usually get when I travel. This is Master Amino Pattern. Uh, you know, Ten of these are like eating a steak. So a lot of times it's hard to find high quality protein. Uh, chicken and beef and stuff like that at airports is like dog food grade. So this is better. Like just eat vegetables if you're getting something to eat at the airport and then take this stuff. Um, much, much better in terms of a protein source. Okay, this um, is Capriflex. The only reason I'm taking this stuff is that it's a glucosamine chondroitin blend and I just did a half Ironman on Sunday. I'm kind of sore, so I take this stuff with me. I usually don't take it unless I've just finished like a race or I'm injured or something, but I will be traveling with that stuff because I did just have a race. Um, this is also from Mount Capra. This is Capra Cleanse. If you get constipated when you travel, which I do if I don't use a little bit of fiber, this stuff works. It's like a, it's a liver cleanse, it's a gut cleanse, and you just take like three in the morning and three in the evening when you're traveling, and oh my goodness, you aren't like straining on the, in the airport bathroom. Uh, enzymes, digestive enzymes, great for helping you to digest uh, weird foods, and also it's just something I, I, I tend to use before big meals. It just helps you digest so much better. Um, these are my little Prosalon capsules to keep me from converting my uh, testosterone into DHT, keep me from going bald or getting prostate cancer. It's kind of like my preventive medicine that I use every day. It's also pretty good for your testosterone. Um, coenzyme Q10. Um, I got to admit, these are actually mostly left in here from Wildflower, uh, but I, I tend to use these before a race. These are the... Uh, the Hammer Nutrition race caps, but coenzyme is actually really good as just a, a mitochondria support, uh, and um, it, it's really good for general health just to take it every day. So I'll do one capsule in the morning, but usually like before a race, I'll do two or three sometimes. And then just fish oil, and this is a really good reason to make sure that you are uh, not checking your bag in the hot underbellies of the airplane because uh, you don't want fish oil to go rancid, but this is just like a Carlson's fish oil cap. Helps me get omega-3s when I'm traveling. Okay, so that's my, my drug box. And then a few other things. I travel with a myo rope. Um, you don't need to pay for expensive massage therapy in the airport. You just like lay down on this thing and kind of rub it on the areas that you are sore in or you want to kind of get a little bit of fascial release, muscle release. Works really well. It's called a myo rope. I've never had TSA um, confiscate it, although it looks slightly dangerous, I guess. Um, okay, and what goes into my little plastic bag that I get to put all of my liquids into? Uh, rock sauce for helping sore muscles to feel better. Um, Everyman Jack body wash for in case I need to take a shower uh, in an airport or in a lounge. Um, just a little bit of clone to make me smell better. Uh, magnesium. I live and die by this stuff too. This is right up there in like one of my top supplement categories. So I use magnesium. Um, I right now uh, after Ironman or after doing Wildflower, I have like some some calluses and scrapes and stuff. So I take some tea tree oil. I put it on that. 
I always travel with oil oregano and I put four or five drops of this in my mouth. It kills airborne pathogens. Um, so I use that when I travel to keep me from getting sick. Um, same thing with elderberry. It can also help with that. So I use a little bit of elderberry when I travel. Um, and then I've just got like, you know, my gels and, and body washes and, you know, random stuff like that to look pretty. Um, I grab a little bit of uh, conditioner and shampoo um, just to, again, have it on hand if I need it. Uh, my Everyman Jack deodorant, of course. Um, got my sunglasses for when, I, when I'm running and I'm uh, stuck somewhere running. Extra watch, extra sunglasses. Okay, last thing, what do I wear when I'm traveling? Uh, tomorrow I'll be using a brand of compression gear for my top called Core Compression Gear. This is just a, like a t-shirt uh, made by a company called Core. K-O-A-R. Let me see if I can show you there. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So that's uh, compression gear. Helps blood flow in your upper body. And then I'll be using my 110% compression socks. Then just some comfortable K-Swiss shoes, some jeans. And um, as far as workouts go, if I get stuck in the airport, this is a brand new deal. It's kind of like the TRX, except it's like 25, 30 bucks. It's called the Most Fit Suspension Strap. And this will help me get workouts in um, during layovers at the airport. Uh, you can do pull-ups, suspended push-ups, suspended lunges. Just get a killer workout if you just got like, you can go under the stairwell at an airport and just get a fantastic workout. Okay, so let's back up. Uh, so that's what it all looks like, okay? And that stuff just basically goes into a backpack. And I, I travel light. I bring like two or three changes of clothes. And honestly, I feel like a million bucks when I travel. So, um, yeah, that may seem like a lot of stuff. But, I mean, once you make it a part of your life, it works really well. And with as much as I travel and as, as good of shape as I try to keep myself in, um, all this stuff I consider like a, a travel necessity. So, I hope that helps. And um, I'll try and put links to everything underneath the video so you can access it. And thanks for watching healthy, happy travels to you.